this is gonna be a preview for a four-part video series which of course is going to feature me talking about something that I've talked about on Tumblr but I haven't really gotten to on YouTube which sucks because YouTube is a great way to archive things the exception of the fact that there's more flaggers on YouTube and you're more likely to get your crap deleted. But considering YouTube's a main platform, I should really speak about these kinds of things here. So what I'm going to talk about is are essentially the Patriots and Nationalists. Both of these are 19th century ideologies. What I want to really get to, just on the introduction video, which isn't even part one, this is like part zero, is that people weren't necessarily involved with the state because they liked the state. Think about it like this. A lot of people were involved with the state because they had no other choice. Some of them were prisoners of war. Some of them were just stuck on a caste system. And that's a very important thing because what they would later try to do is with patriotism make people actually try and value the state. That is to say, as a means of continuing the fantasy structure now it has to become this thing where the state has an intrinsic value and as for nationalists well, let's say that someone justifies you can't really value the state you can only value something absurd which the state is being represented by like an agent of the state. So they do something else that makes even less sense. They try and take these collective holistic little forests known as essentially a community and a bunch of people of common history, geography, culture, ethnicity and race and they start nationalist nationalism and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover each individually and then what I might try to do is I might try to juxtapose them with the state for a third part where the first two parts are just them going individually and I try to look at these things in part four from the viewpoint of someone who's an anti statist like me. Just some sort of strategical video. And why do you think I'm going to try to make a video like this? Well, I noticed that you might have a situation if you're dealing with a very bogus group of people that. If you call yourself an anti-statist, then they're going to say some things like, but we need to be patriots of our own nation. I believe everyone should be a patriot of their own country. Or if you're dealing with a nationalist and you don't really have nationalist ideals, and they might try to be a bit more rational. I've never come to the situation a way to have. In fact, I have my whole freaking life. So, in the sense that every time I speak to someone, I don't act Dominican. I am criticized for that. But that's a corny little anecdote, and it's not important, but it's an interesting detail. So, I'm going to cover both of these viewpoints. I'm going to juxtapose them to statism in part three. Part four, I'll talk about them from the perspective of an anti-statist.
by dividing them into small parts like this, upload time will be much faster. It'll be much more enjoyable. I promise. No, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, I promise. It's gonna be faster. If it's gonna be faster, it's gonna be more enjoyable. So yeah. Okie dokie. And so this is Leon and suck my dick.